So I'm running a cluster and I'm tailing the audit logs so that as I make API requests, I can see them show up in real time. So if I get pods in the cube system namespace, right away I see an audit log event for the list verb on the pods resource by the system admin user. So I'm going to load a job, and as it's starting to run, we can take a look and, and see what it's actually going to do. This is just a simple bash script that uses kube control to get a config map, uh, delete and update. It uh, gets pods in a couple namespaces, gets nodes, and then runs and cleans up a couple sub jobs and views their logs. So if we take a look at how this job is doing, we can see it's actually stuck on the first step, which makes sense because it's running as a service account that doesn't have any permissions. So let's use audit to RBAC to set up a role that gives this job the permissions it needs. So the first thing we can do is just run audit to RBAC, passing in the audit log and telling it which service account to pay attention to. And so as soon as we run this, it spits out a role which includes the config map read permissions that it's currently stuck on. And it also includes a role binding which grants this role to the service account that the job is running as. So I can pass this to kube control apply and that will actually create the role and role binding. And as soon as I do, we can see that step succeed in the job. And now it is stuck on the next step, which it's missing a permission for. So I'm going to set up a loop that's going to continuously look at the log, generate a role and role binding, and then apply it. And for our benefit, I'm also going to dump it out to this YAML file so we can take a look and see what it's doing. And before I start that running, I'm also going to set up a, a diff that will show us the differences that are coming into that file. So now we can sit back and let this generate a role for us. So we can see create permissions, update permissions, get added, permissions around pods. Let me <laughs> zoom out so we can see what's going on here. Um, permissions around jobs in the batch API group. Uh, we see sub-resource permissions come in when it tries to view logs for a pod. And you can also see some expansion happen where if you try to do something against two objects with different names, it will expand that to let you operate on an object with any name. Or if you do something against two different namespaces, it will allow that in a cluster role, which lets you work against any namespace. Those are optional. You don't have to allow that expansion, but that typically lets you operate on a representative set and then have the role that it generates work in the general case. And so we can actually see our job succeeded, and we have a pretty good-sized role that we didn't have to write by hand.